my channel. Today we're doing an autumn recipe video. Just finished cooking this amazing pumpkin chili that smells incredible. We have four recipes today. They're all linked in the description for you. So if you want to recreate them, then go check them out on my website. Also, if you do recreate any of them, please tag me in your photos on Instagram because I absolutely love seeing them and sharing them. And yeah, let's get straight into it. No need to talk any longer. So subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and let's get cooking. Ras al Hanu. Ras al Hanu? Ras al Hanout? Please tell me how to pronounce it in the comments. Um, it makes everything smell like smoky and meaty, doesn't it? It's so good for vegetarian vegan cooking because it gives that meaty flavour and it will make the mushrooms taste. Chef's kiss. sitting taking photographs for ages but it's still very warm i love the color of it it looks autumnal mm. i've called this a soup but it's kind of a stew and it's absolutely delicious like i love the mushrooms it's got that really warming spice to it and the tahini makes it really creamy oh this is yummy and i just kind of like winged this one didn't i mm. totally made this up usually i'm kind of like inspired by something where i'm thinking right i really want, want to recreate this kind of soup or this kind of pie or this kind of stir fry, but just fancy making this and it's really nice. The leeks often have lots of nice soil inside, so give them a wash after you've chopped them to make sure you get all the all the dirt off. Christmas. Oh! 
So as much as this is my job, I have a very small kitchen I'm working with here. So we haven't actually bought a lot of new kitchen equipment in a while because we don't have the room to store it. So we only have this one baking tray. Um, I want to get a bigger one because this recipe, you want to use a bigger tray than this, use the biggest one you have, or put the sausages in and just put however many vegetables fit in the tray and just you can put the chopped vegetables spare in the fridge in a container to use for another recipe. Uh, I'm just going to shove as many sausages as I can in between. It might mean that it takes a little bit longer in the oven and it doesn't look as aesthetically pleasing as I kind of wanted it to, but we're working with what I've got and maybe that actually makes it a bit more realistic for a lot of you because you're probably also working with what you've got because this isn't a, you know, studio kitchen. This is a real kitchen. Hopefully in time we'll improve on that, but for now, this is how it's gonna be. Time to go in the oven. Yeah, it smells so good. I forgot to add sage in, so I'm doing it now. I've um, just turned the vegetables, so don't worry if you forget something, just add it in. eat out of the tray isn't it this room smells like Christmas right now doesn't it doesn't it what sausages are these Sainsbury's what the shroom dogs ah, yeah they're the best well tied with Richmond hmm. different kind of sausage exactly so the Richmond meat free ones are like your kids style sausages like the meaty the kind mm. of processed <laughs> You know, like the really meaty proper sausages and then these are more like your fancy sausages. The ones with the herbs and the caramelised onion and they just taste like expensive sausages. Mmm. Mmm mmm. Yum. What's that song? I'll let you figure it out. Apple Papa. <laughs> it sounds like a military song. It's Star Wars. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Featuring Indiana Jones. It's Indiana Jones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the comments are going to come at me because my hair is touching the boo. Sorry, guys. It's up, though. It's pretty disgusting. <laughs> only Alex and me eating it and Alex doesn't mind eating the hair sometimes. That's what I tell her. <laughs> What's she doing? What is he? What are you doing? She right by her feet. Yeah. So um, usually with apple crumble you'd stew the apples a little bit first and I'm kind of like winging it here. As you probably know, I sometimes test recipes before I film and sometimes I'm just cocky <laughs> and I'm like, this is going to work. Sometimes that's a video that never makes it to YouTube. But basically to make this one pot and to make this as simple as possible, I try to go into the mindset of someone like me who goes into the kitchen and thinks, I can't be bothered to do all these steps. They're annoying. Who has time for this? Can I just have a nice tasty pudding really fast right now? So that is the idea. So we're putting the apples straight in here because already peeling and stuff of those apples is time consuming. So now we're gonna put some sugar and cinnamon on the apples, top it with some oats, some more sugar and cinnamon, some pecans and some knobs of butter. Usually you blend up the crumble separately and you stew the apples like I said, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna put it all in here, put it in the oven, and hopefully that means it makes it a very, very simple recipe. And if you can't be bothered to peel and chop the Bramley apples, you could just use normal apples from your cupboard and do it maybe in a smaller portion and it should taste yummy. So I'm gonna give it a go and let's pray it works.
So it's up for debate whether this is actually any easier than just blending this, because usually I would blend the butter and the, the sugar and the oats together, or even just mixing it with, with your hands or whatever, but I know lots of people don't have a blender and it's just a bit of fun to try try a different version out and keeping it in one all in one pot so you're only actually having to use one pot and then one measuring bowl so it's saving on washing up so always looking to come up with new ideas so put this in the oven and see if it works So Emily, Emily, Elmley, this is not an ad, but they've got a plant um, alternative to dairy cream, so drizzled some of that on. And this is actually, looks like it's worked out really well. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. That worked out really well. The only difference is it doesn't have like the crunch that a crumble has. I suppose it doesn't really have the crumble crumble. Just a little bit. That's why I put the pecans on there. But if you wanted to add more crunch to this, then you could definitely sprinkle over seeds and other nuts like walnuts, almonds, and then properly saturate the top of it. I'll put a note in the recipe for how many nuts you, I did and how many nuts you could do to make it extra crunchy. But this is absolutely delicious. And if you're feeling really lazy, realistically, you could just mix all of these ingredients in the pan and not layer it up and it would taste delicious, wouldn't it? Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm getting cramped in my hand. So I'm peeling the pumpkin. I know that you can roast it and just peel it when it's cooked, but because we're doing a one pot job, we're not doing that, obviously, in a way, one pot's supposed to simplify things, um, and this is probably actually a little bit harder than just roasting your pumpkin and, you know, peeling the skin on afterwards. So by all means, if you want to do that, roast the, like chop the pumpkin up, roast it in the oven, and peel the skin off afterwards. But it just takes, you know, sitting down, put a nice song on, use a sharp knife, and um, peel away. It does cut off quite a lot of the pumpkin, which makes me sad, but there you have it. Or you could literally just leave the skin on if you're not fussed, but I prefer it without the skin, so we're getting rid of it. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, I'm probably not supposed to cut through that, am I? You need a hammer. God, yeah. Is that any negative with pumpkins and squash. That's why I actually don't cook with them very often. They are a nightmare to prepare and I'm a lady bitch. <laughs> this is the fun bit and if you want more pumpkin recipes, I did an entire video last year of pumpkin recipes so I'll leave that linked above. Yes, Frankie really wants to watch that pumpkin video. <laughs> it isn't his. Could you get get it from him? Frankie. No, he's gonna kind of ignore you.
What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. So we're all done cooking. I want to eat this entire pan of pumpkin chili. Oh, I think I'm gonna have it for dinner tonight with Alex. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which recipe you're gonna recreate. And like I said at the start, please tag me in any photos or videos you make of making any of these recipes. They're all linked in the description for you to follow along easily. Follow me on Instagram and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, all the annoying things that YouTubers ask you to do. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.